Hey guys, it's Dr. M. Uh, so we're gonna do a quick and dirty DNA extraction. I've got two kids here that happen to belong to me. Um, and why they're helping me is just to show you that this is so simple, even these little dingbats can do it. Uh, and so you can get all these supplies usually from uh, right in your own kitchen or medicine cabinet. We grabbed a banana off the, uh, the old kitchen fruit stand, a coffee filter, water, dish soap, a little rubbing alcohol, which you cannot drink, and uh, one stick of uncooked spaghetti and a German Shepherd. All right, so first thing we want to realize is that when we do a DNA extraction, we're getting it out of cells. Right? And a banana, in this case, has cells in it that contain DNA. Uh, so cell membranes are made out of lipids, which are like oils. So we're going to use the soap right, to break down those oils and help us get at the DNA. We're also going to use salt to help uh, attract some of the proteins associated with the DNA away and affect the charge of the DNA. All of this will help it make it more soluble in our lysis buffer solution. Uh, there we go, salt and banana. All right, so step one, uh, my two assistants. Logan, could you open the banana, please? Yep. And this video comes with a free soundtrack. So break it in half, will you, sir? All right, give it to your brother. Thank you. Put one half in the Ziploc bag. That's one half in the Ziploc bag. Maybe it's easy enough for kids to do. All right, we're sealing it. Now you can hand it to your little brother. And Connor, what I would like you to do is squishy, squishy, squishy it. As hard as you can, squishing it until it's like toothpaste. Does that make sense? Yeah. If you don't squish it properly, the German Shepherd will eat you. <coughs> That's a joke. Okay. So, while Connor is squishing this, Logan, could you please take the spoon, which is a tablespoon, and fill it up with soap? This is using a regular old hand soap. All right, you got it full? That's okay, we're just, we're doing this whole experiment on a hope chest, just because we hope it works. Now, put that in the, uh, the old water there. Good job. Like uh, Cat in the Hat says, I'm, I'm sure your mom won't mind if you make a mess or something like that. All right, one more spoonful of soap, good sir. Keep squishing, Connor. Keep squishing. All right, Logan, is the soap in? Good job. I'm done squishing. Oh, I'll say when you're done squishing. Keep squishing. Now, Logan, pour salt onto the spoon until it's full. Wait, Logan, all I can see is your pajamas. There we go. All right, good job. And there you go. Salt in a spoon. Now pour it in the water. Put the spoon in there and stir it until all the salt comes off. Excellent. Are you squishing that or eating the banana? Come on. I'm squishing it. Oh, okay. All right, it looks pretty squished to me. All right, Logan. Now open the bag, Connor. Carefully. That's a dangerous banana you got there. Now, Logan, take some of that soapy salt water. Connor, with two hands, hold it open. Logan, pour. All of it? No, just about half of it. A little more. You need more work in math class. All right, keep pouring. That's good. That's good. Now, Connor, 
if you could, could you close the bag again. Try and get the air out if possible. I, I got it. I and that's the video production quality is uh, par none. Okay, this is top notch. Eat your heart out, Lucas. Now, Connor, please continue to squishy, squish it, squish it. Ah, careful not to pop it open. Mm -hmm. And he's going to do this for a little bit longer. Now, you'll notice while he's doing this, we have set up in advance a little Tupperware cup that I stole from my unsuspecting wife. Uh, and we put a coffee filter in it and then put a rubber band around so that you can see there's this empty cavity below the coffee filter. And that's going to collect the liquid that contains the DNA that we're actually after. Right? Now, sometimes these filters get soggy uh, and can break, in which case your experiment's not ruined. You just need to have a pour the, the whole solution back into another cup, set up a new filter, and start over. Does that feel pretty squished, Connor? Yep. All right, so, Logan, would you please carefully take the bag from your brother and now slowly start pouring it into the container. And it's yummy salt. Oh, it's probably anything but yummy. Mm -hmm. Okay. I usually use strawberries for this, but bananas, in theory, should work. They are DNA rich. All right, put that on the paper towel. Yucky. Okay, so we're gonna let the liquid drain. And this is the part that requires patience. 